Hello everybody, this is Chuck, and I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Um, as I've always mentioned, as I learn things, I love to share them. I learned this a long time ago, uh, but I was just watching Joe Pye's recent video, and it, it sprung a question that he answered, and I didn't catch as I was watching the video. But he was... He has a DRO on his machine for the carriage moving left or right, but he doesn't have a DRO on the cross slide. My lathe here, I do have a travel dial, which he has on his machine. And no, it doesn't have, excuse me, he has a DRO, he doesn't have a travel dial. I have a travel dial for left to right and for the carriage going back and forth. No DRO on this machine. Well, watching his video, and I assume if you watch me, you watch him. I hope you, boy, you better watch him. He's it's a great teacher. Well, he was making cuts and showing how he was using his cross slide dial to dial everything in, but his left to right cuts were all done on his DRO since he only has one axis on the DRO. So watching it myself, I said, geez, uh, Joe, um, I wrote this comment. Um, I assume your lathe must not have much backlash because um, you, how do you handle the backlash? His response, and I went, yeah, duh, I know that. So duh, I know that. I thought I would just share it with you. So right now I've got my cross slide set at zero. And let's see, zoom it down a little bit there. I want to keep I want to keep that in focus. And I have the travel dial set at zero right now. So if I if I let's say I go in uh we'll go in, I don't know, we'll go in a hundred thousandths. Okay. If you notice the travel dial they went fifty because it's reading the radius. But if I come back to zero, come back to zero on the dial on the lathe here well it looks like right there I've got a 15 16 16 17 thousandths air there but but if I go all the way past zero and come back to zero travel dials right back at zero again so long story short you need to always take the backlash out of your machine, it, whether it's your mill or your lathe. You always want to turn away from you. As you come up to your final number, you turn away from you. You push, you push away from you. It does two things. It puts the load against the, the unit itself. Even on a mill, you want to push, so you're always cut, pushing against the, the uh, lead screw. But you can see right there, if I go in, come back out to zero, I'm not there. No bueno. Go past zero, come back to my zero, I'm on. So, and it's not zero, it's your number. If, if, I'm, if I'm cutting to uh, a number of 50 thousandths here, when I come, when I come back, I got to go back to 50 thousandths if I want the same reading. Okay? I just had to share that. Um, it's something that Chewy taught me a long time ago. Um, and uh, mentioning it to Joe, of course, I hope people read the comments there. It's just a simple lesson on using the dials on your machines. Hope you enjoyed and uh, really appreciate your time stopping by the channel. I know I haven't put out many videos these days. I've been very busy at work and uh, maybe get back in the saddle. Again, take care all.